Shredder, sworn enemy of the Turtles. It feels so good to be so bad. With his henchmen, the dreaded foot soldiers, the mutants Bebop and Rocksteady. What do I do with them? Destroy them! All one turtle soup. Ninja Turtles. From Playmates. Well, some went down on the Allegheny Hills. The air was split with the sound of wheels. It was Stanley Stoke and his brother Irvine with a brand new fruit drink named of Moonshine. Boy, no good critters hit the road. And up jumped one the panel toad. He took a swig and then he smiled. All oh, the fruits in this here stuff is wild. Moonshine, moonshine, looks pretty real and dish this line. The ship is slow, the county line. Only in the boys will be doing time. Pogo ball is what they call it when you're hopping and bopping everywhere. Pogo ball is what they call it when you're rocking and rolling in yeah, the air. Yeah. So get on a pogo and get off the ball. A pogo is a thing to do. Pogo is my favorite way to have a ball. And pogo ball is a thing for you. Yeah. Pogo ball is what they call it. Pogo ball is what they call it. My favorite way to have a ball. Get skiing today. You'll feel up to it after this complete breakfast, including my vitamin pack. Frosted Flakes, they bring out the tiger in you. Oh, pretty good, huh? Frosted Flakes, good. They're good. Show up, you're a tiger. Show what you can do. Go, tiger. Taste the Tony's Frosted Flakes, girl. Man, they ski. Present the tiger with you. And you. For excitement with the pole position team. Today's adventure, the code. Which button do I press? Press them all. You have five seconds. From now on, like your parents were, you are the secret force of pole position. They're moving real fast, they're the only ones who Let's can get go, there on time. Okay, sis. And never too far behind, they're always fighting crime. Stop time there. Ready when you, ready you are, Rhodey. In the danger zone. Pretty soon they'll be off on a mission. Hydrofoil mode, Rhodey. Hydrofoil engaged, Dan. Proposition! What's behind them? I'm sure a pocket calculator would think you're hysterical. Nice job, Wheels. I estimate the water track in seven seconds. Time to lock in the hydrofoil mode. Listen up, Ted. I'm not really, really sure my hydrofoil is working very well. You're such a worrier, Wheels. Everything will be fine. Now please hurry. Listening to 
Brody's stupid joke. Why? You're hydrofoil, Dan. You're hydrofoil. Brody, the water. Quick, go to Hydra. out of here. And you heard the one about the soaking wet driver who forgot his automatic pilot. <laughs> Very funny. Automatic pilot engaged. Have a nice swim, Dan. Everybody's a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Take a message. I hate to bother you, Tess, but Dr. Zachary is on the hotline. Yes, Doctor. Tess, we have a level three emergency. I repeat, a level three emergency. Contact me as soon as the show is over. We almost never go to level three. Don't I know it. Hang on, Rhodey. I'm going to take the super tube manually. Was there an echo in here? Oh, I think I'm getting lost. Whoa! Rody, take over! Oh, thanks a lot. Now you let me drive. Huh, Rody? Just between you and me, Dan, computers never sweat. Way to go, Wheels! Right on, Rody! <laughs> this will be like taking candy from a baby. Don't you think I'm wet enough? Way to go, Dan! Someday I'm gonna be a racer just like you two. And like Mom and Dad were. I know you will, Daisy. I know you will. I'm gonna go see Rody and Wheel. Here I come, guys! We're in a level three emergency, Dan. We'd better contact Dr. Zachary immediately. Level three? Oh, no, I didn't realize it was that important. Let's move it. Excuse me, uh, do you think a world-class stunt driver would have time for dinner tonight? Well, how about it? Dinner tonight? Greg Dumont, what are you doing here? What I'm doing here is asking you out on a date. Well, I'd love to, Greg, but, oh, something's come up and... I'm staying at the Hotel Marquis. Why don't you call me and let me know? Great. I really gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Pole position two to pole position one. Dan, Tess, it appears as if someone has tapped into our computer system and stolen the command codes to the pole position cars. That means Rody and Wheels are vulnerable to a takeover. That and much worse. All the information needed to destroy our entire computer system is stored in the memory banks of Rody and Wheels. If our enemies obtain this information, pole position would cease to exist. Tess, I want you to change the command codes on both cars to Red 9. Repeat, Red 9. Okay, fellas, time for a break. Let's play some computer games, Daisy. I just love to beat wheels at computer games. That's because you can't beat me on the track. Ah, pipe down, you old jalopy. Come on, you guys, cut it out. Hey, Rody, here comes your best buddy. No, no, wait, stay away from me, you beast. Not my new wax job! Rody, you're just like a little kid, always getting dirty. Oh. I need the modules for just a minute, then you guys can go back and play. What you need them for? Uh, just checking something. Ouch! Don't look, but there's 
there's somebody spying on us. I said don't look! I don't see anybody. I'm telling you there was somebody there. Well, there's nobody there now, so just relax. Besides, both of the command codes have been changed. There's nothing to worry about. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to dinner with Greg Dumont. I'll see you later. Greg Dumont. Big deal. Now we're going to play family. Oh, not again. Oh, Rody, sometimes you're such a grouch. Sometimes. Wheels, you'll be mommy. Oh, Wheels, don't you look gorgeous. Uh... And Rody, you're the daddy. And here's your hat. Hey, who turned out the lights? <laughs> <laughs> Time for bed, Daisy. Aw, oh, gee, do I have to? Yes, you have to. Besides, Rody and Wheels have to be put back in the cars for recharging. Oh, all right. Night, fellas. I'll see you guys in a little while. Good night, Daisy. Good night, Daisy. What was that all about? Oh, nothing. Good night, Daisy. Good night, Dan. Everything ready? Yes. Are you sure? Relax, Vance. I'll steal one of the cars and they'll follow me in the other one. You'll get both computer modules. And the information I need to destroy pole position. I'll see you in Sierra City. Make sure you have my money ready. <laughs> a deal's a deal. I just saw your friend Greg Dumont talking with the same guy that was spying on us before. Oh, come on, Dan. You're acting silly. I'm telling you, Tess, something fishy is going on around here, and I want to know what it is. I can do. How'd you get in here? Come on, get out of the car. Hey, you're trying to steal wheel. Ah, uh, hey, what's going on there? Tell that other car I've got the little girl. Rody, he's got the new command code. I can't stop him. Yeah, but I can. I said, tell him I've got the girl. Rody, he's got Daisy. Rody, what happened? Greg Dumont, he's stolen a wheel. Tess, he's got Greg Daisy. Dumont? I just can't believe he'd steal wheels and take Daisy with him. I don't know what to say. I do. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You're a bad guy, 
aren't you? That's a matter of opinion. Well, you stole wheels and kidnapped me, so it's my opinion that you're a bad guy. I second your opinion, Daisy. Then it's settled. You're a bad guy, and someone ought to tell your mother. Brody, are you absolutely sure it was Greg Dumont? That's affirmative. Daisy was sleeping in the car when Dumont stole it. I know you kind of like the guy. I'm sorry, Tess. It's too late to be sorry. Let's get him. I'm tracking his course on radar, Dan. I think I know a shortcut that'll catch him. Go for it! on my brother. Gladly, Ted. Hey, what? Get it out! I'm sorry I got you involved in this, Daisy. It's all my fault. It is not. Don't talk that way. It's his fault. I don't want you involved in this either. Well, I am. So there. Huh. Yeah, so there. Hmm. Go on. Get out. Be careful, Daisy. Don't worry, I will. You'll be careful too, Will. Dumont, this is Dan Darren. Do you read me? I read you, Darren. Listen to me, Dumont. Greg, please let Daisy go. Relax, Tess. I already have. She's at the picnic area off Route 38. Greg, what are you doing? Radar screen. Pull over, Dan. There it is. Still with me. I'm right on top of you, Dumont. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. I've got the little girl. Let her go, Vance. She has nothing to do with this. Don't be a fool, Dumont. The girl is our insurance. We'll argue about that later. Right now, I need you to slow down the other car. Don't disable them. Just make it look good. Roger. What do you mean? I got a feeling he'll lead us right to Daisy. I'm not sure I can keep a radar fix on him once we get into the city. With or without radar, nobody loses me.
I hate to bother you, but my radar scan has picked up a large missile-like object racing toward us at a great speed. And I was just wondering if you had a plan to avoid it? Yes, I do. Take off. Nah, this is easy. It's just like the Super Tube. Yeah, but does the Super Tube have a train in it? Of course it doesn't have a train. A train? No! Go through the billboard! Are you crazy? Trust me. <laughs> when I say trust me, I mean trust me. Turkey. Quiet, little girl. They're right behind me, Vance. We've got them. Wheels! I said be quiet. You've done well, Dumont. Daisy! Daisy! Don't come any closer. Dan! Tess! Dumont, get the other module and place them both in the computer terminal. Stop fooling around and bring me those modules. Greg, how could you do this? You wouldn't understand. Now, how about my money? Relax, Dumont. You'll get what's coming to you. Now get back over there and watch the other two. What are you doing? You're a pole position agent, Dumont, and a traitorous one at that. Do you think I could ever be foolish enough to trust you? You worked for Uncle Zachary and you sold us out. He certainly did, and now these modules will give me the information I need to break into your computers and destroy Dr. Zachary forever. Please be gentle with Mr. Dumont. He's one of my best agents. Mr. Vance, I'd like to take this opportunity to inform you that you can now kiss your entire computer system goodbye. What? I, I don't understand. Wait, I think I do. Uncle Zachary rigged Rhodey and Wheels to destroy your computers. And you, Dumont, <laughs> you're a great actor. It's not over yet. I still have the child. It's too late, Vance. Your computers will blow in 60 seconds. Let her go, Vance. Dan, be quiet! Daisy, run to the computer terminal, quickly! Which button do I press? Press them all! I'll get Vance. Forget about that. But... Get out now. The police will pick up Vance outside the building. Please get us out of here. Don't worry, guys. Thanks. I'll never complain about playing family again. Hurry, Daisy. Let's go. You have five seconds. Zachary planned the whole thing? Well, with the exception of Daisy getting involved, he planned everything. I guess that means your dating me was also part of the plan. I tried to tell you, Tess, but I just couldn't. I really care for you, and that wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, I think he's gonna kiss her. <laughs> That's affirmative. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tess. I thought I was your main guy. <laughs> you are, Wheels. But there are some things even a computer can't do.
Or you can go to Toys R Us. Toys R Us has the world's biggest selection of Nintendo games and accessories at everyday low prices. Next time, let's just come to Toys R Us. Yeah! Someone's come for a nutritious breakfast. What? Hello, my name is Boo. <laughs> Let me finish. Booberry, my ghostly good blueberry flavored cereal, Booberry, <laughs> is part of this complete breakfast. Boo to you, Boo Frank and Betty's got strawberry flavored marshmallows. Cow Chocula's got chocolate marshmallows. But I've got blueberry flavored marshmallows. Frank and Betty. Cow Chocula. <laughs> and Booberry. <laughs> the Transformers. More than meets the eye. Autobots wait till the Destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. The Transformers. More than meets the eye. Transformers, in disguise. Attack the Autobot Commander! Call in the Decepticon leader! Transformers, more than meets the eye. Transformers, from Hasbro. The Star Sheriffs tangle with the Vigilante Raiders, and the New Frontier is set ablaze with action. Riled up renegades, outrageous outriders, and the incredible Nth Degree. Will Saber Rider lead the way against this awesome challenge, or is Ramrod headed for the big crash? Find out in this amazing adventure of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. The new frontier was in danger. The Outriders had shut down all of their systems so they could funnel every ounce of power into their incredible new weapon. The Cobalt Blue Blaster. Power levels set. Velocity, particle mass, and trajectory set. There are no people up there, just buildings and robots. It's all ready for you, Mr. Blue. This is as good as it gets. Fire!
How were we to respond to Jesse's demands? How could we respond? An emergency meeting of our top leaders was called at the Cavalry Command Headquarters. The fate of the New Frontier hung in the balance. We signed a treaty with the Outriders, even given them a place to live on planet Yuma. And this is how they thank us, with a Cobalt Blue Blaster. We all feel the same way about this. Question is, what to do about it? Uh, Commander Eagle, what, what do you think? Out here on the new frontier, we have a saying. Carry your own weight. Never make anyone else a slave. Never be a slave. But if we try to stop them, they'll blow us to smithereens. Well, yeah, if we don't, they'll take us over. Mm. All in favor of defending the new frontier, stand up. Then it's decided, there's no turning back. We want peace, Jesse. That's not just talk. We've proven it. You know it. But we won't give in to your threats. Hey, what I said wasn't a threat, Commander. It was a promise. If we go down, you're going down with us, Jesse. That's a promise, too. Okay, fire up the Cobalt Blue Blaster. It takes time to power up, Jesse. It could take hours, even days, before it's ready to fire. Don't whine, Glower. Just do it, okay? Yes, sir. Cobalt Blue Blaster, <laughs> Why'd you join the Outriders, Glower? It seemed like a good idea. Figures. Enemy huh? craft approaching. Star Sheriffs. We gotta hold them off till the Cobalt Blaster's ready. Launch the Vigilantes. You've got to get to the Cobalt Blue Blaster before they use it again. Yeah, Jesse Blue's Blaster. We gotta find it before we can knock it out. Yes, you'll have to track it down. Saber Rider, can you get a fix on it? I'll try, Commander. Yes, there it is. Dead center. April, can you set the course? The course? Of course. I'll get us there all right, Daddy. Good luck, April. Okay, let's blast these vigilantes. Vigilante right on our tail. Let's lose him. Sounds good to me, Top Sword. Woo! Left him in the dust. Fireball, you're way off course. I can't help it. That command ship is pulling us. Fireball, go to challenge phase. Challenge phase one. work, Fireball. Now we've got to find a way inside. I know, but how? These vigilantes are serious. Yeah. Behind us. It's the command ship. Where? It's got the drop on us. Who was that? The Monarch Supreme. Send them back to their own dimension! There's the command ship! Hey, well, I'm gonna hit it with the Maverick Quick Draw? I've got a better idea. What? Let's get on it and take it for a ride. A ride? Oh, you mean in the Outrider base. Ooh, I like it, I like it! We'll need some backup from King Jure. Hold on. I'll see if I can make contact. I hear you, Star Sheriffs. What can I do to help? Well, uh, can you create a diversion? A big diversion! Yeah! Well, 
Go, boys. Thanks, April. No problem. it instead, but the controls are right here. You're full of good ideas today, Saber. No pressure, no outriders. I wish this battle was over. I'm getting hungry. You know what I can really go for? A vapor burger. Emergency alert. We're losing pressure. We'll get it back. It's got to Corral 14. There's nothing we can do. Our base on planet Yuma. Trail boss Blue, there's an emergency call. Where? This is Yuma Base. We're under attack by the whole Seventh Cavalry. What? Sky Stallion. Hit him. My command base! Nemesis! Supreme Trail Boss, they've wrecked your command base. Don't you think I can see that? Tell me something I don't know. Uh, sir, I... We don't have a chance. <sighs> Nemesis, sir! I hate to be the one to tell you, but they've wrecked your command base! Oh, brother. All right, call Jesse Blue. Right. It must take practice to be that boring. Jesse, communicate from Commander Grimace. You boys having a little uh, problem down there, Grimace? We need a rescue team to get us out of here. Hey, that's a shame. Look, I'll send a squadron down there right away. Well, make it quick, Jesse. Nemesis is in one of his moods, so you know what I mean. Which squad should I send? Uh, let me give it some thought. 
Okay, sir. Nemesis needs me, but do I need him? Command Spigilante, Command Ship Review. Let's get out of here. I think we're clear, chums. Now, let's look for our old friend, shall we? You mean Mr. Blue? Yeah, he's the one in control of the Cobalt Blue Blaster. Maybe, but he's not gonna be easy to find. They moved all the command rooms around during the treaty. Well then, we'll just have to search that much harder. Come on, lads. Those portholes go off in all different directions. But which one's the right one? I'll check. All right, this way. It's blocked. Yes, I'm afraid you're right. Well, there's more than one way to skin a cactus, you know. We'll just have to find another way around. There's no time for that. What do you mean, no time? We gotta put this place out of commission, don't we? Yes, but perhaps we can do that best by splitting up. I don't know. We need concentrated power, Top Sword. We've got concentrated power in our Maverick explosives. If we could just place them in strategic positions... Ooh, I'm getting the picture here. One, two, three blasts going off at the same time. We'll discombobulate this whole place, just like clockwork. Clockwork is right. We're gonna have to time this down to the millisecond. There's no room for goofing up. Now let's get digital and set these chronometers. Charges go off at 3.30, and that's when we meet up outside. Gotcha! Yes, I'm ready as well. All right, let's go. And, uh, Cole, don't go off on any side tracks for a change, huh? Me? <laughs> Stay hidden. If they find out we're here, it's curtains. Uh-oh. A power truck. He's checking the power on the main power line. I was looking for. Maverick explosive set. There it is. The Hydra pump system. Hmm. He had me. Better come out of there now. If you don't come out. Well, that'll send him back to the vapor zone. Now, let's get this charge set. So long, Hydra Pump. This'll get their fusion system. Now, I really ought to be lighting out of here, but... I've got a couple of minutes. Think I'll check out those vapor chambers. I was here, they were full. And was I spooked? Oh, are they vampires or what? Hey, don't touch that. It's highly breakable. What is it? It's a vapor chamber, and the vapor dude inside's heading for the scrap heap. How's that? Suspended vaporization, and it only lasts so long. Oh, he was making it all up, just waiting to let him out for the big attack. Ugh. How's the Cobalt Blue Blaster coming? I'm working at it, Trail Boss, but it's not powered up yet. Nemesis is still trapped down on planet Yuma. Hey, you're breaking my heart, Glower, know what I mean? But he's the Supreme Trail Boss. 
Well, maybe it's time for a new Supreme Trail boss. One who can get the job done. You realize you're talking treason? You gonna stop me? <coughs> Go ahead, if you really think you're faster than I am. But remember where I found you, in a vapor chamber. And if you lose this one, you're back there for good. Your choice, Glower. Whatever you say, Jesse, I'm on your side all the way. Your courage is underwhelming. Now, punch up the Cobalt Blue Blaster. Huh? We lost complete control! What? Good morning! It's going haywire! But I need it! Someone or something has taken control of this planet! Gotta get to the nth degree. I can control the power systems from there. There it is. The nth degree. Jesse. <gasps> Long ago you betrayed the Starshrafts. Now you betrayed me. Nemesis, but how? I watch you, Jesse. I know every move you make, and you just made a very bad move. I'll turn him off. That's it. I'll shut off his power. Really, Jesse? You think you can control me with a few buttons? I am Nemesis. I am the Supreme Trail Boss. And I am much, much more than that. For I am the end degree. <laughs> Supernaturals, ghostly warriors that change to fight when they're hit with light because each has an amazing hologram, an eerie hologram you control with a turn of your hand. Turn them into the light and watch them change into even more powerful creatures. Change to fight with ghostly might. Supernaturals. Each sold separately, new from Tonka. This is the Micro Machine Man, presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machine. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim, precision paint jobs, plus incredible Micro Machine pocket play sets. There's a police station, fire station, restaurant, service station, and more. Perfect pocket portables to take any place. And there are many miniature play sets to play with, and each one comes with its own special edition Micro Machine vehicle and fun, fantastic features that miraculously move. Raise the boat lift at the airport marina, man the gun turret at the army base, clean your car at the car wash, raise the toll bridge. And these play sets fit together to form a Micro Machine world. Micro Machine pocket play sets, so tremendously tiny, so perfectly precise, so dazzlingly detailed, you'll want to pocket them all. Micro Machines are Micro Machine pocket play sets sold separately from Galoob. The smaller they are, the better they are. These are Super Gobots, the mightiest Gobots of all. Stacks leader one and side kill sold separately. Think you're big enough for the king of the road? Try me. Mighty Gobots, mighty vehicles, Gobots. Too big, Stacks. Not so fast, Psycho. Thanks, good buddy. Super Gobots, Stacks leader one and side kill each sold separately from Tonka. What time is it? Wild Cherry Cherry Pepsi. This goes out to all you wild cherry lovers. It's alive! We're in the Pepsi generation. Who? Me? Born to be wild. Earl Sabian, Wild Cherry Bear. Hey, are you talking to me? Wild, wild, wild Cherry Pepsi. He-Man's 
twin sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. Surrounded. You are under arrest as a member of the rebellion. And I can't change to Shira in front of them. Guard the prisoner well. If she escapes, Hordak will hold me responsible. And you know what I'll do to you if that happens. Yes, sir. I've got to find a way out, but I must do it without changing to Shira. There must be a way. Green moss. This vent must lead outside. Ah! This jungle vine will show the way. <coughs>
had enough. You ruined my test. Now I'll never be a beast warrior. And what is a beast warrior? The bravest and best thing anyone can be. And you got in the way before I could fight my first beast. That's what you were trying to do? There's no bravery in fighting animals. Then I'll fight you instead. Don't be foolish. No! I have to beat her in a fear fight. Why didn't you let me fight? She interfered with your warrior initiation. The council must decide what to do with her. You won't need this for a while. The Outlander has disrupted a sacred ceremony. She must be punished. Have patience, Cord. She knows nothing of our laws. Who are you? Why did you come here? I... I, I don't know who I am or where I came from. Something has happened to my memory. This is a waste of time. Our village law is very clear. Anyone who interferes with a sacred ceremony must be taken to the Great Beast. The punishment is too harsh. She doesn't deserve it. There is no choice, Jamila. Not even you can go against village law. Uh, I am sorry, but you are right. So be it. Sound the horn for the Great Beast. How did she escape? Oh, through, through an old ventilation duct. I had no idea. You're not supposed to have ideas. I'm holding you personally responsible for finding her immediately. enough to avoid the beast's freeze ray. You missed me! If she's a beast warrior, then let her kill the creature. Kill? No. Somehow, I know this sword is not for killing. She's talking to the beast. Listen, great creature, I don't know why, but something tells me you can understand me, and I think I can understand you. If she won't kill it, then we must, before it harms us. Wait, Korg, look. She has power over the beasts. No, she's a witch, and she has interfered in our ritual. Father, the villagers want the Outlander to be made a beast warrior. Never. A beast warrior would have killed the creature. And that would have been wrong. The creature meant no harm. What are you saying? It comes regularly to attack our village. No, it comes when the conch trumpet is blown. The sound is like that of a wounded beast, and the creature comes thinking it will help one of its own. How do you know this? Somehow, I was able to communicate with it. I, I told the beast that the conch trumpet would not be blown again. What? You had no right. Enough, Korg. We will go to the village and have a council meeting. No council tells Korg what to do. Come, I know someone who might be interested in our new beast warrior. Jamila doesn't know it, but there are powerful men living beyond the borders of the jungle. They're called the Horde. I have already met them and learned about the outer world. They may know more than we do about our new beast warrior. My people would like you to join us as one of our honored beast warriors. Well, I'm sorry, Jamila, but I can't do that. I have no wish to harm the creatures of the jungle. Nor do I, but we have no choice. Look at our feeble stream. This is the only source of water for our valley. And this is not enough? Not for us and the creatures. That is why we have always fought them. There must be a better way. We're almost there. What, what, what is it? A Horde prison base. Now we'll find out who the Outlander is. No! You won't 
change my mind about being a beast warrior. No? I'll tell you what, Dandy. Let's go for a walk in the jungle. Maybe we can both get to see the animals in a different way. Here is where the beast warriors fight the creatures to keep them from drinking the water. But, Tandi, the creatures must drink, too. But there isn't enough water for the animals and us. Puka! Puka! Oh, where'd he get to? Puka! <gasps> he's gone. No, he's not. Look, he's asleep. Oh, that lazy little... Wait till I get him. Oh, no! It's a pack of wild snorters! Wait, Tondi. I don't think they'll bother Puka. Oh, you bet they won't. I'm gonna get him. No, Tondi, wait! <laughs> Attacking won't help Puka. If you make those creatures angrier, they'll take it out on him. Oh, what can we do? Wait. Puka means them no harm. As soon as they realize that, I think you'll be safe. Puka, just lie still. Don't make a move. Just stay quiet. Quiet. That's right. You see? All they wanted to do was fill their bellies with acorns from Puka's tree. Call him back. Quietly and carefully. Puka, come very slowly. Come on. Oh, you little rascal. Thank you so much. You saved him. You're welcome, Tandy. You see, if you had attacked them, then they would have fought back. That's the way fights start. The snorters didn't want to fight. They just wanted to eat. And now they want to drink from our water. So I see. The shortage of water has created a difficult problem for your village. I understand that now. That's why Uncle Cork says we must fight while your father tries to find a more peaceful solution. How long has she been in your village? Only a few days. Excellent! You will be well rewarded after you help my friends recapture the traitor. We're getting near the village. Wait, the great beast. This is the creature that attacks when the conch shell is blown? Yes, but Jamila has banned its use. What do you think, Rattlar? Can you come up with some sounds that'll make that monster keep Adora busy until we capture her? See? These tiny creatures actually bring food to that colony of red insects. And in return, the insects protect the little guys from bigger bugs. Right, it's called cooperation. <gasps> the Great Beast! And he sounds really mad! It can't be! <laughs> Strange rattling sound. I've heard it before. <laughs> Great Beast! You promised to stay away! Stop! <gasps> I don't seem to be getting through to you, big fella. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Imp, get out there immediately! I don't trust those fools. Yes, Master. But what should I do? Start a fire. A jungle full of angry beasts will make plenty of trouble for Adora. Get to it. <laughs> Thrower should do the job nicely. <laughs> Good work, Imp. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Harming trees is against the rules. Jamila, look! The sky! A fire! A jungle fire! <laughs> I... I know who I am. And now I know what I must do with this sword. <laughs> For the honor of Greyskull!
doing here? I don't know, but she's a bigger prize than Adora. I'll capture her myself. Oh, so you want to play Catch a Tree? You don't like that rattling? Well, neither do I. Let's take care of Hordak's slimy friends. Two of his friends. So much the better. You can both give my regards to Hordak. Don't leave without your money! Well, that's better. No more rattling. Now maybe we can start becoming friends. <laughs> The whole jungle is on fire. That stream, where does it start? A lake. Suppose I bring the lake water down here. You would put out the fire and solve our water problem. But that's impossible. Difficult, but not impossible. If I have the right help. How about it, big fellow? Oh, boy! I've got to see this. May I go, Father, please? You go in my place. If we can tip this lake, the water will run down and put out the fire. Move the mountain! Wow! Tandy, better stand clear. All right, friend. Together now. Push! Uh, harder! treated you kindly. I did not understand that the creatures of the forest and the people of the village could live together in peace. Thank you for teaching me. I know that wasn't easy for you to say, so thank you. Jamila, you have a fine son. Because of Tandi, the great beast was saved. Your son passed a difficult test today. He learned that the hardest test of bravery can sometimes be helping, not hurting creatures. He deserves to be something better than a beast warrior. You're right. Tandi, you did better than a beast warrior. You are a beast protector. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You are very welcome. So be it. From now on, this village will live in peace with the creatures of the jungle.
witch doctor, he told me what to do. He said, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, tang, tang, wada, wada, bing, bang. That means play Dr. Mario on Game Boy or NES. Tang, tang, wada, wada, bing, bang. We were at the Crunchberry cereal exhibit, munching that cranked up berry head. When? We're going to be extinct. Maybe some more Crunchberries will help you get the picture. I've got the Crunchberries. And how about this picture? Cool! Picture perfect. Crunchberry cereal is the colorfully crunchy good part of a balanced breakfast. Time for another bite. Sounds good to me. You and the captain make it happen. There's something strange in the neighborhood. So who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Venkman, Stash, and Spangler are here. So are these ghosts. They've got exoplasm. We've been gooped. Now what? Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activate Neutrona Blaster. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Peter Venkman, Ectoplasm, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. Just a cheetah here. Now there's a cheesy snack so hip, it's on everyone's lip. New Cheetos Wild Fangs. They're giving me serious hunger pangs. It's like kids. Rhinos. Orangutans. Whole dang gang's got wild fangs. About time I got mine. Serious hunger pangs call for new Cheetos Wild Fangs. Cheese-flavored snacks. The cheese that goes crunch. Rockets ignite. Jets into battle, flying faster than light. Flash Gordon, Lord of the Jungle, the hero who stalks. The beasts call him brother, the ghost to war. And defenders of the earth. Defenders. Master of magic spells and illusion. Enemies crumble in fear and confusion. And drink. Defenders of the earth. Defenders. His strength is a legend, his skills conquer all. Armed with his power, we never will fall. No star. Defenders of the Earth. Defenders. With our new young heroes proving their worth. Four become eight, defending the Earth. Defenders of the Earth. Defenders. Defenders of the Earth. ship approaching monitor fast why don't we blast them there are no signs of hostility lj dynac give me a reading the ship is a main fighter trajectory indicates engine malfunction identify yourself engine out of commission coming into land this could be a trick dad i say we should blast them hold it they're obviously in trouble. Rick, you and LJ cover me. I'm going with you, Flash. Remember, it is a Ming ship. Expect the unexpected. Get ready. The hatch, it's opening. Don't shoot. Flash Gordon. Castra, is that you? Father, isn't Castra Ming's youngest daughter? Yes, Jenna. I never expected to see you here. What happened? My father sent his robo-ships to shoot me down. He discovered I was on my way to warn you. Warn me about what? I'm not sure, but...
I intercepted this partial transmission from Ming to Dr. Janus, an Earth minion of his. Janus! My neutralizer! In Grand Junction. It's not much to go on, but it does bear investigation. Rick, prepare the Terry, and Sun, check Castra's ship for damages. You've done a brave thing by coming here, Castra. When did you and Castra meet, Flash? Castra's husband, Prince Tebrock, and I go way back. We all fought side by side when the Prince was leader of the rebellion against Ming. He saved my life. I owe you both a great deal. Any friend of Flash's is a friend of ours. Welcome, Castra. Yes, welcome, Castra. Thank you all. I feel welcome. Little time flash. Castor's right. Rick, LJ, Jetta, Kashin, keep an eye on things here. Don't worry, Flash. Zuff and I'll take care of things. Right, Zuff? <laughs> we'll send you a postcard from Grand Junction. Grand Junction, here we come. Almighty Ming, it is finished. The Mind Neutralizer will reduce all Earthlings to an army of zombies. Oh, Jenna. When I provoke the defenders to attack, they will not face a phalanx of ice robots, but an army of Earthlings. And those fools will not fire on their own kind. When will we test this new creation? I will demonstrate tonight at City Hall. Excellent. Excellent. If all goes as promised, I will control a city filled with mindless, obedient zombies. And now, Your Honor, a demonstration of my revolutionary invention. This compact portable generator is capable of powering an entire city. All systems are flight ready. Thanks, Dynak. Just as I thought, all systems were functioning properly. There was no danger. Did you hear that? Castra's ship wasn't damaged after all. What's she up to? Pretending to be disabled was the only way she could approach Monitor without being fired on. I think it was very clever of her, Rick. Too clever, Jetta. Too clever. That's strange. The lights in that section of the city suddenly went dim. We're going down. These fellows look a little out to lunch. Come on. Evening, Your Honor. Peaceful little place you have here. There is something very unnatural about all of this. Flash, these people are not acting under their own will. Flash, you have done well, my daughter. It was a trick. Why, Castra? You of all people, Flash, dare to ask? After you murdered my husband? But, Castra, you must believe... We asked for your help, but you denied it. The oath you swore to support each other meant nothing to you. Prince paid with his life. And you will pay with yours. The mine neutralizer will give me control over these defenders. Then, Castra, you may have your revenge on Flash Gordon. Castra, what proof do you have of Prince Tebrock's death? My father's word. It's all a trick of Ming! I don't know why, but Ming wants you to believe that the prince is dead and that I killed him. If it's proof you want, Flash, proof you shall have. Ming removed this from around Tebrock's neck. That amulet proves that Prince Tebrock is alive. What do you mean? 
These identical amulets are cut from the same special crystal. Legend has it, when one or the other dies, both stones will shatter, breaking the bond. Both amulets are whole. Which means Prince Tebrock is alive. How do I know this isn't just another trick of yours? Shall I use the mind neutralizer on them now, Excellency? No. Hold them till I arrive. I would enjoy watching them turned into mindless slaves. Castra, you must believe me! A betrayal like Flash Gordon's calls for a fitting revenge. And now, Castro, to get to the rest of the defenders. But, Father, I... Do as I say, daughter. Emergency! Calling Monitor! Ming captured us, but I managed to get away. According to voice analysis, Castro was not telling the truth. All right! LJ, get Jen and Kashin. Grand Junction, here we come. Let's hope they buy it. This is all your fault. Don't shove me, you muscle-bound jerk. How dare you speak to Lothar that way? Bring it up in there. Kestra, Ming lied. You must believe me. Guard! Flash, all clear. Raise Dynak. I want a full readout on Prince Tebrock. Dynak! Come in, Dynak! I will prove to you, Castra, this was all a plot of Ming's. Prince Tebrock is being held prisoner on Mongo. He's alive! Oh, Flash, forgive me. How could I ever have doubted you? Your father is a malicious man to use his own daughter to get at me. I will make him pay dearly for this. Why do I feel like something is about to happen? How about a little earlier warning next time, Jetta? Ming's flagship! Wow! We don't have a chance against that monster. Well, we're not sticking around to find out. Hang on! One of us escaped. This completes the power grid. Now the power of the entire city can be harnessed to run the Ming Neutralizer at the stadium. My Lord Ming, what should be done with these defenders? Send them to the stadium with the rest of the Earthlings. Where's Jetta? She's not with them. I'm here, Father. I managed to escape. 
They have the whole city's power wired into one power grid at the stadium. Ming must be planning to neutralize the unsuspecting citizenry he's gathering at the stadium. Tonight, I will transform thousands into mindless slaves. And once the power grid is completed, you will have millions more. Begin. What is it, Garax? They wish to know what you want done with Prince Tebrak. <laughs> the pawn has served his purpose. Destroy him and feed him to the beast, Krandar. Stop, defenders! Stop, defenders! Stop, defenders! By Jungle Law, the ghost who walks calls forth the power of ten tigers. We must find Rick, LJ, and Kashin. Stop, defenders. Rick, LJ, and Kashin. Sleep. Go to sleep. Flash, we must rescue Tebrock. I know exactly where he's being held prisoner. He's in great danger. Phantom the plans for the mind neutralizer. I do as you ask, but he is a defender, sire. Sire is not necessary. A simple sir will do. And you will not remember what happened here. Traps ahead. Let me lead. Be careful. Oh, thanks, Castra. What was that? A hologram? Yes. We must proceed cautiously. programming the laser welder, Dynac. Yes. Now reversing the polarity. Place the glass tube to Rick's temple. Oh! Mandrake! Uh, 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 uh. Easy, Rick. You're quite safe now. LJ, you're next. Galax, what is the status of the power grid? The relay station is 
Operation Bone Mount Stanley will beam one billion volts directly to the mind neutralizer on your ship. I will bathe the Earth in the beam of the neutralizer. The Earth will be mine at last. Tembrock, we've come to get you out. Hurry! I'll distract the Grondor. Get moving! Over here, Buzzface! Flesh, once again you've saved my life. You have Castra to thank as well. Establishing orbit over Earth. Begin the mine neutralization. <laughs> We must reverse the polarity of the energy going to Ming's ship, just as we did with Rick, LJ, and Kashin. Then Ming will be curing all the people he's already neutralized. Very good, Mandry. There is the junction box. Stop, defenders! Stop, Ming! Stop, Ming! Stop, Ming! Stop, Ming! Stop, Ming! What went wrong? Janus, it is all your fault! But, Excellency, I don't understand. I... It, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Thank you again, Flash. Brothers, forever. Just in time. One last box. Oh, well, hi, Kelly. And bye, Kelly, if you think you're getting those corn pops. How's it going, Brian? As in going away without the pops? Oh, uh, you shopping? Oh, man, she's not moving. Uh-huh. Oh, no, he's not budging. If I don't get that last box with a sweet, crunchy tank, man. Absolutely, Brian. That's it. I'm going for it. Price check. Kellogg's Corn Pop Cereal is part of this complete breakfast. Gotta have my pops. Mm -hmm. Throttle, Vinny, Moto, Biker Mice on Battle Bikes with the firepower to stop the evil Plutarchians. Catch this, Carbuncle! Gets him every time. Skip his way, Exasius Vermin! No way, Fish Face! <laughs> grease pedal, grease them! Grease this! Whoa! Time to rock and ride! Biker Mice from Mars, Bikes and Figures, each sold separately, new from Galoob. When you weigh one diet against another, consider this. If you don't get enough protein when you diet to lose fat, you might lose muscle. 
Protein can help you keep muscle while you lose fat. And Special K has the highest level of dietary protein available in a cereal. So exercise your good judgment, too. Include this Special K breakfast in your balanced diet. And make a firm commitment to your body. Special K. Keep the muscle. Lose the fat. Strong, humble, never bragging. Always fight for right, battling wrong with the power of the dragon. Live the code, the code of the dragon. Fight for right, the might of the dragon. With the mark, the mark of the dragon. Live the code, the code of the dragon. Never intentionally harm another. Do not battle if you can avoid it. Jimmy and Billy Lee are Dragon Masters now. Dragon Master was with the mark of the double dragon. Experimenting with holograms, I found a way to apply uh, the technology of virtual reality to three-dimensional holograms. <laughs> Watch. Amazing. If I didn't know better, I'd swear they were real. And the holograms can be programmed any way I please. Yes, a powerful light source, sunlight, for example, would weaken the image. Yes, that gives me an idea. Sugar Happy, you know what to do. Sure do, Popsicle. Only one camera left. Leave it. That's the one we need. Come down. Uh, stand by. Now. A uniform. Look, it's my day off. I came straight here. A good cop is a cop 24 hours a day, Martin. Never forget that. Maybe instead of goofing off, you should have been keeping an eye on your pet deputies. Your vigilante friends appear to have gone over to the other side. They robbed a bank this morning. It's been all over the news. It's not possible. The double dragons were... Were what, Officer Martin? They didn't do it. It goes against everything they stand for. Well, I know this is hard for you. So until this is over, I'm reassigning you to the traffic division. Hmm. What about the bank's other security cameras? Destroyed. We were lucky we got such clear footage from this one. Maybe it wasn't luck. Maybe this is what somebody wants us to see. 
Now you listen to me. This city is in danger because of your friends, and it's up to me to save it. I'm not going to waste time listening to the harebrained theories of a, a meter maid when I have a press conference to give. Well, you ought to come. Maybe you'll learn something about fighting crime. Maybe I will. I assure you, every step is being taken to ensure the swift capture of the Double Dragons. Now, I realize the Double Dragons represent a powerful threat, so I have arranged for some powerful countermeasures. Members of the press and all of Metro City, something I've been waiting for the right moment to unveil. My new creation, Clue. Cybernetic Law Enforcement Unit. A robot? Clue's programming incorporates the brainwaves of a real police officer. My own, in fact. It can think and make judgments like a human. It's constructed of a special alloy that will withstand all known hand weapons, including dragon swords. Besides a built-in plasma cannon, it's armed with capture pincers and twin mini-stun cannons. Clue also has the capacity for limited flight, for maximum mobility and minimum response time. Believe me, the double dragons don't stand a chance. But what if the double dragons are innocent? Ask him yourself. I only deal in facts, ma'am. Once the suspects are apprehended, they'll be given a fair trial in Metro City Superior Court in accordance with the provisions of the State Criminal Code. Hey, use your head, bro. A woman like Marion is attracted to a guy with an edge. You're the goody two-shoes type. You have a lot to learn about women, Mr. Tough Guy. <laughs> Runaway Rhino! I don't think our usual martial arts tactics are gonna work with him. For might! For right! We are Double Dragons! Okay, calm down. Hey, hey, it's cool now. Huh? They're scared of me? Calm down now. Stay. Huh? One thing I can't stand is cruelty to animals. <laughs> Marion? You've been framed. Bricks has sent a robot after you. You've got to stay out of custody until we can find the real culprits. So that's why those kids were scared of me. Halt! Are you the Double Dragons? Uh-oh. What the heck are you supposed to be? The name's Clue. I carry a badge. You're under arrest for suspicion of bank robbery. You have the right to remain silent. You have... Halt! <laughs> no. You can't escape from... Oh. We can't fight this thing here. People and animals might get hurt. I have an idea. Follow me. I hope there's more to your idea than this. That thing can fly. Whoa! And it can shoot, too! I'm betting this thing wants the Double Dragons, not two guys named Billy and Jimmy Lee. Come on! Have you seen two men wearing dragon masks? 
dragon masks, officer? Just the back, sir. Well, uh, gee, there were, but, uh... Yes, yeah, sir. They were headed in that direction. Thank you. Everyone should be as civic-minded as you are. Well, bro, for once, you were right on. That robot, I would have made it part of the plan. I had hoped that Bricks would destroy the Double Dragons. Now it looks like he and his robot may destroy all of Metro City as well. I've got something! I know! You've got orders to report to the traffic division, and you're about three hours overdue! Look at this! No, you look. You are still a member of the Metro City Police Department, but that will change if you don't get out there and start writing parking tickets. Or would you like to lose that assignment to a robot as well? You can demote me, Bricks. You can even suspend me. But until you do, I'm a cop, and I'm sworn to protect the innocent. And right now, that's the Double Dragons. I can't believe, after everything we've done for this city, that they really think we robbed that bank. You're wasting your anger. Metro City is as much a victim of this hoax as we are. Yeah, nice speech. I noticed you slowed way down for that police car. The Code of the Dragon says we must always hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. In other words, keep your backside covered. <sighs> Shadows, our problems can wait. For might, for right, we are Double Dragons! Well, I guess there's no question who robbed this bank. Yeah, and look, there's no innocent bystanders to worry about. I'm gonna enjoy this. What? Only two of them? What are you waiting for? What? I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't think so. You're under arrest! All right, Double Dragons! Don't move! Get the press on the scene. I've captured the Double Dragons. We gotta ditch these guys. If they arrest us, the Shadow Master wins. We can't hurt them. They're not our enemies. Defensive tactics only. Clues on the way? Tell him to stay outside. I'm the hero here. Now! Stop them! Hold your fire! And we'll let Clue handle them. What's he doing? He doesn't see us, so he's going after the Dragon Cruiser. They're behind that dumpster! That vehicle is exceeding the limit by an additional 25 miles per hour. The vehicle must be pulled over. What are you doing? I order you to cease and desist! As the primary officer assigned to this case, I'm asserting jurisdictional control in accordance with Departmental Regulation Number 1173, subparagraph M. Primary officer? You're a blasted robot! Yes, sir. A robot with a job to do. Now, sir, excuse me while I do it.
What took you so long? Whoa! Officer Marion Martin, newest member of the Metro City Traffic Enforcement Detail. It looks like you're having almost as bad a day as we are. They're holograms! Look how they disappear in strong light. The Shadow Masters found a way to make them completely lifelike. Huh? Oh. Think it will help if we show him the tape? I doubt it. Clue's been programmed with Brix's personality. That explains a lot. Metro City Police, I'm authorized to conduct a search of these premises. Here's the search warrant. You're under arrest. You know, I love driving by remote control. This is Clue, calling dispatch. I am in pursuit of the Double Dragons. Negative, Clue. The Double Dragons are attacking the fusion plant. Park it, Jimmy. We gotta go. This is no time for jokes, dispatch. I'm looking right at them. No mistake, Clue. Commissioner Briggs is there now. All available units are to proceed to the fusion plant immediately, including you! Mistake. Mistake. That robot is more dangerous than ever. It must have shorted out its logic circuits from all that conflicting data. In other words, it flipped out! Great! Now all it's got left is Briggs' bad attitude. All dragons, or I'll shoot. Uh-oh. What are you doing here? Your SWAT team is double parked. I've brought reinforcements. Hold it, boys. These two are genuine. Look, you have to admit, Commissioner, there are a lot of extra dragons around lately. Well, if these two are innocent, they won't mind too much if we detain them while we clear this up. I'm gonna clear this up right now. <laughs> There's nothing there! We are under arrest for bank robbery, destruction of public property, resisting arrest, and appearing on municipal property with only half a body. He thinks they're real! He's gonna take out the reactor! Oh no! He's out of control! He wants double dragons? Well, let's give him some. Hey, Tin Man! Hey! Thank Trigger Happy, not me. Let's get that robot. Rex, this is all your fault. I thought it was dead. We gave it complete backup systems. Commissioner Rex, you are under arrest for violation of the following sections of the state criminal code. Number 5403, placing a police officer under unnecessary risk. Number 6987, wearing an ugly tie to a crime scene. This, this, this can't be happening. I helped design Clue. I'm, I'm like its father. Maybe you should have taken it to more baseball games. And number 9635, resisting arrest. I am now authorized to use deadly force. How do we stop this thing? Aim for its sensors. Its head. You missed! Shoot! Shoot! Gee, looks
Looks like he lost his head. Good work, Martin. Yeah, that's for sure. She definitely saved your life. She probably saved the entire city. Who knows how much damage your robot might have done. Uh, uh, uh yes, uh, well, uh, in recognition of performance above and beyond the call of duty, I'm reinstating... Uh, reinstating? Uh, promoting you to the rank of sergeant. Thank you, Commissioner. But aren't you forgetting something? <clears throat> Okay, okay, you're both restored to your special deputy status. Gee, thanks. thanks. But, but remember, masked vigilantes can never take the place of a real police officer. Commissioner, nothing can take the place of a real police officer. The Double Dragon still live. Yes, Shadow Master. And the hologram unit was completely destroyed. Yes, Shadow Master. Well, it was fun while it lasted. A most remarkable device, Ice Pick. <laughs> A most amusing diversion. <laughs> you about guns. They only do one thing, hurt people. You carry a gun, sooner or later you're gonna get in trouble. Carrying a gun <laughs> is against the law. But what do you do when you know a kid at school who has a gun? You gotta tell somebody. Because if you don't, sooner or later that kid is going to hurt someone or get hurt himself. By the power of the dragon! <laughs> Creature. With grasping claws and firing jaws. But we can change too into any animal we touch. And when heroic axe changes into a scorpion, Visser 3 is gonna get stung. To save the human race, we pounce like animals. You can make the change. Animorphs. Each sold separately. Transformers! Moto 2. More tracks, more control, more speed. Take advantage of it. And turn off the blinker! PlayStation.
survival are a million to one. G.I. Joe Street! And with the collapse of a former superpower, several powerful factions now by for control. The threat is real. An evil organization calling itself Scar. Not only a Scar. Their goal, nothing short of total world domination. Led by this man, known only as Iron Claw. We will be victorious! Not on my watch! Critical. Roll call! Extreme! Ballistic! Harpoon! Mayday! Black Dragon! Sergeant Savage! Quick Sight! Melvin! Great! Lieutenant Stone! The odds are a million to one. And that's the way we like it! G.I. Jones <sighs> It's okay, Mayday. You're safe now. I don't want to be safe. I want to get those Scar. We got them. Just take it easy. You'll be back in action soon enough. You bet I will. Maybe Stone will let me scan some of that fusion turbo technology for my road bullet. Metalhead's made it to the target! None of the guns can track him! Impossible! That was fun! Yeah! How come Metalhead gets to have all the fun? You think trying to fly through everything our guns can throw at you is fun? Yeah, I do. It says here you're out of traction as of now. And when you're out of that cast, you can fly the new Tiger Hawk. I promise. What's wrong with right now? I could fly that thing blindfolded. Blindfolded, maybe. But without an engine? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm having Freight and Metalhead yank the fusion reactor drive. They're going over that bird with a fine tooth comb, and I want to make sure it's up for action. Well, then, let's get going. Look, at least take this with you. Oh, yeah, thanks. I can work on my golf swing. Come and get it. You found it? You found a way in? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Remember our terms? As soon as we verify your funds, then all this is yours. Now, in a perfect world, I'd just give you this information. Ka-ching! Cash and carry. The only way to do business. G.I. Joe Island. And a way in! <laughs> it's your funeral, Inferno. As soon as the Joes figure out they've got a glitch in their defense net, they'll seal it up tighter than an igloo in an ice storm. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. Stand by to deploy Skystalker Squadron's red and gold on my signal. Are the Joes responding to the distress calls? We're picking up movement. <laughs> Here. Deploy Skystalker Squadrons now! Soon, sweetie, soon, you'll be mine. The newest, brightest, shiniest, fastest little helicopter in the whole world! And all mine! <laughs> Come on, move it, now! Hold it, Mayday. Where do you think you're going? If Iron Claw and his gang are pounding that hydroelectric dam, you'll need me there. I should be piloting this mission, and you know it. You're right, you should. But you can't. You're in charge of Joe Island security now. Riding shotgun on a computer screen is a gig for Metalhead. And see what you can do with the Fusion Turbo Tiger Hawk while we're gone. The Tiger Hawk? Thanks, sir. 
This is the last time I get left behind. Guaranteed. At least I get the new Tiger Hawk all to myself. Total flame out! This is no glitch. They're coming in from all over the place. Oh, I can't get Defense Net locked down. We've got a gap in security. Someone's figured it out. Gotta get a recall signal to Stone and the others. Time for Plan B. If I had one. Inferno! No telling how many Skyrenes Inferno's got with him. All of them. Against one of me. A parrot on my shoulder. Okay, Inferno. You don't know I'm here, but I know you are. Let's play tag. You're it. Stealing. Woohoo! And get me that new Tiger Hawk! Red Patrol, secure this place! If anything moves. <laughs> Blast it! Those Skyrenes don't waste any time. Time to rock! to Inferno. Report presence of one rogue Joe. Will terminate after successful entry into hangar is secured. Estimate entry into hangar in five seconds. Four, three, two. Patrols. I want immediate deployment of all, repeat, all Skyrenes! Time to hunt me some Joe! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mayday, if you're sure. But this Siberian damn thing is chump change. Scar's attack doesn't make sense. Since when did Scar ever make sense? Roger, out. Roger, Mayday, out. Oh, my beauty. <laughs> you belong to me now. This is Inferno. Get a hovercraft down here now! I've got the Joe's new tiger hawk! Really, Inferno? Don't you mean we've got the new Tiger Hawk? Uh, sure, of course, Iron Claw. After all, since I'm the one financing this operation, all the profits belong to me. You do agree, don't you? Yeah, right. Oh, and make sure the island is ready for the Joes when they return. I want to give them a warm, warm welcome. <laughs> 
warm, it'll be positively hot! So the Joes will be flying back into an ambush, and Iron Claw thinks he's got my Fusion Turbo Tiger Hawk. <sighs> Not on my shift. Oh! Why am I picking up interference? Sky Reeds. <laughs> done that hours ago. Loser. You think that big ugly bird of yours is coming for my fusion turbo tiger hawk? Well, Inferno, you'd better be afraid of the dark. Mayday, we cleaned up the last of Scar's mess. We're heading home. I have hot chow waiting for you when you get back. How's the cast? Does it itch yet? Yeah, it itches something awful. Your arm will be fine before you know it. I'm counting on it. Out. Too bad you broke your leg. Joes, we're scrambling back to the island. Either Mayday's lost it completely, or something really weird's going down. Hurry on back, all you Joes. <laughs> I've got a big surprise for you. I need a pneumatic wrench and about eight hours to do this right. So I have a crowbar and ten minutes. I've got to power up the defense net. If that hovercraft makes it in, the Joes will be flying back into an ambush. Where is that hovercraft? My fusion turbo tiger hawk! Skyrim's attack! Let's just see who's the top shot, sister. Get 
get me that too! Now! a show. But now it's time to put on a little show of my own. And I don't want you to miss a minute of it. Grab her! After the hovercraft comes for your... <laughs> oh, <laughs> excuse me, my chopper. I'll have a big warm hello ready for your pals when they get back. Question, what is a runway not a runway? when it's blown away! <laughs> Get it? Say goodnight, Inferno. Goodnight, Inferno? Voice activation online now. Attack! No fair! He's mine! I'll have to remember to recircuit Skyrene's more often. We can make this simple, or we can make this fun. No. Engage the security net. Welcome home. Like what I've done with the place? through for us, Mayday. Good job. But I don't think the island will ever be the same. Yeah, don't you just hate it when uninvited guests drop in? Really inconsiderate. Yeah. Metalhead's patched that hole in the defense net, and we've got a little surprise that'll make us harder to find next time. Okay, Metalhead. All systems in place. It's always harder to hit. Especially when it hits back. How about I get this cast off and we see who's faster? This island or me and my jet ski?
a treehouse. Built it in two days. And I didn't follow any plans. I mean, why waste time? Oh. <laughs> Metalhead! I guess I was in too big a hurry. Remember, anything worth doing is worth planning. If you don't plan... You're out on a limb. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle, man. and all that creeps, crawls, and flies. But nature lies. They're robots in disguise. Beast Wars! Beast Wars! The next step in Transformer evolution is here. New Maximals, heroic animals, battle the evil reptile and insect forces of the Predacons. They fight tooth and claw. Heroic Dinobot attacks. Morphs from Raptor Beast. Into vicious robot with spinning velocirotor blades. Evil Waspinator full of venom changes like never before. From insect to high tech and puts the sting on Cheetor. But there's more to Cheetor than meets the eye. Under the skin lurks a robot within. With hidden weapons firing. But treacherous tarantula mutates and counterattacks. Charging, slashing, blasting. All new Beast Wars. The next step in Transformer evolution is here. And when you buy the Maximal Predacon 2-pack, you get a free Beast Wars comic book. Beast Wars! Each sold separately. My friends, depend on me, Smokey B, to voice a plea. Respect the forest, protect our trees. Don't worry, I do it. Cut! Yes, Smokey Baby, what's the trouble? Round, this isn't me. Smokey, 50. We agreed you'd talk to kids in their language. I know, but I'll just give it to them straight. <clears throat> kids, only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey, the look, hmm. I just, Smokey! I gotta get back to the forest. Godzilla versus his enemies of destruction, the king of all monsters against the baddest beasts of all time, Rodan, Mothra, Ghidra, Mechagidra, and Mechagodzilla. It's an eye-flashing, tail-whipping, building-bashing Godzilla war, and only the strong survive. Godzilla rules. Crash dummies! Did you see that car? How could I miss it? Introducing Junkman, a crash dummy gone bad. With his junk bot gang, he's out to stop crash testing. And it makes the world an unsafe place. You gotta catch us first. There's an crash. Grab him. <laughs> uh oh. Timber. New junk bots, incredible crash dummies, and cars sold separately. Don't you be a dummy. Buckle your safety belt.
Oh, I hear the Mystic Knights are inspecting the border areas. Any idea which one's assigned to here? Rowan. <gasps> the one with the fancy sword. <laughs> That's why I'm shining mine, to gleam like a dragon's tooth. Bing! Oh. Jesus! Three-headed Hydra Tyrone. No, oh, he's coming right for us. Rowan, take over, now! Stay back! Everybody back! In the name of Queen Maeve! Attack! You have a habit of turning up where you're not wanted. Tyrone doesn't want any of us here! That way you're wrong, Mr. Knight! Tyrone is on our side! You need more than Tyrone! This is my fight! showed up. We saw Tyrone overhead. If Maeve controls him now, we've got trouble. We really showed those cameras, huh? <laughs> they were more of a hindrance than a help. In battles, the Kel soldiers should come under the command of the Mystic Knights. Well, it certainly would make our job a lot easier. Let's talk to my father. No. I will not allow it. We must be able to control the troops in battle. The command structure will remain the same. I command the troops at all times. Now, that is my final word on the matter. Don't worry. I'll get him to change his mind. Father, Rowan's request is not unreasonable. I don't see why you refuse. Deirdre, a king must always control his troops. Yes, Father, but surely if you... My daughter, in years to come, when you are queen, you will understand. My king! A tribute from our allies from across the sea. Hmm. Michelle. Strange tribute. A <gasps> <The> king. <gasps> Father! Cos, do something. Cos! You're still alive, but barely. Who delivered that box? I don't know. I must know. It will help me to discover the cause of this. Get him to his chamber. I'm here, Father. I feel weak. I cannot rule in this condition. I must do this until I am recovered. You are the Queen of Kells. as we ordered, until that accursed mystic knight, Rohan, showed up. They're always interfering. It's that knight of fire that really gets under my skin. One day, I guess... One day has already arrived. I have put a spell on Conaher that will make him too ill to rule. That means that Deirdre will become acting queen of Kells. Precisely. And now I will arrange a meeting. Between Kel's young and inexperienced queen and me. I 
I see. And he will have your day with Rowan. But at the same time, I will make all of Kells mine. Card, what are you doing? I am detecting for poisons in your body. Deirdre? Rest. Save your strength, my king. Deirdre has everything under control. We're working. I understand, I do. We'll do whatever. Watch. My queen! You must put more men on the northern border. The village needs a new well. When will we see King Connor again? My father's recovering. Thank you. You'll get your well. Queen Deirdre, the royal guards await your inspection. Yes, I know. When? When what? The well. <sighs> this queen is no king. My queen, a symbol from Demra. Queen Maeve has heard of your father's illness and requests a meeting with you. But... You must delay even responding to such a request. Until when, Card? Until your father can decide what is best. At least she's able to inspire some confidence. Despite her evil ways. Take the troops you need from the southern border. You'll get your well before the next harvest. I'll inspect the troops tomorrow morning. And now I want all of you to leave, please. Being a ruler is far more difficult than I ever imagined. Everyone's answers all the time, and all I have are questions. I wish I had your confidence. Please get well. So, that show of confidence in the throne room was just an act. From now on, we'll have control of the troops. We'll have no problems in battle anymore, because they listen to us, because... We're queen! Do we bow? Your Majesty, the king is better, Deirdre. I mean, Queen Deirdre. He's still the same. I know you have many worries, but about our commanding the troops in battle. I've carefully considered the matter. Great. You know how important it is. And decided it's not a good idea. What? what? I see things from a different perspective now. My father was right. Deirdre, I too am royalty and understand your position. But please reconsider. The decision is final. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. What's gotten into her? Men, can't you see? Deirdre's afraid to make difficult decisions on her own. So she's repeating what her father said. I can't believe that. It's true. I've been watching her. She doubts her ability. And Maeve's request for a meeting has just added pressure. Deirdre needs our support. I must speak with you. Meeting with Maeve is not a good idea. How is he? Has there been any change? No. And I have still come no closer to finding the cause of his ailment. Please don't give up. We need to talk. I'm about to go and see my father. If you're having trouble making decisions, I understand. But this meeting with Maeve... How dare you! I have no trouble making decisions. In fact, I've decided to meet with Maeve. You've what? My queen, please reconsider. It's another trick of Maeve's. God, could it be that Maeve sees the wisdom in dealing woman to woman? Left to us, a peace may finally be achieved. There is a solution to every problem, Rod. We'll find it. The scoundrels have brought that shadow nowhere to be found. Now how can we be sure it made King Connor her ill? 
It is not an illness that has befallen the king, but a magic spell. You found a cure? No, but I now know the kind of magic I'm dealing with. I must test this potion on the king. I shall return shortly. And I'm going to find out what's going on in that meeting with Maeve. That is a private meeting, Ralph. Presenting Her Majesty Queen Maeve of Temra. Queen, Deirdre. You wear the crown well. You flatter me, Queen Maeve. I would prefer that we speak alone. And how is King Connor? Better, I hope. I'm sure my father will appreciate your concern for his health. But why don't we discuss why you're here? I have always thought that you and I are very much alike, Deirdre. And that this war's waste of resources and lives could be stopped by us. Are you proposing a truce? Something infinitely better. A final determination. Continue. Your best warrior against mine. A one-on-one -on -one combat. No rules, no time limits, no weapons. The victor will determine the outcome. Of the Kerl's Temra War. Our kingdom's best warriors. Yes, Torque and Rowan. Perhaps you doubt your authority to make such a decision. Of course, you can always check with your advisors first. No! I make my own decisions. Tomorrow, Torque and Roan will fight the final battle. As you wish. Drink this, my king. And now we wait. Such a pact with me. I'm to battle talk without the use of my sword, and the fate of Kells rests upon it? That's madness. And do you know the punishment for spying on a queen's private conference? Don't change the subject. You have no right to risk our kingdom that way. I have every right. I am queen. I fear, my queen, you have misjudged. No! I've made my decision. Well, unless you refuse. How can I refuse my queen? Oh, Rowan! I will battle talk as you agreed. What are those Tamar warriors doing here? We agreed, no soldiers. Those are my aides. Can you say the same about your warriors? They're ready. I feel incomplete without this. Remember, there are no rules. So there is no such thing as cheating. So be on your guard. Remember, the future of Kells lies with you. I've looked forward to this for a long time. Victory will be ours. <laughs> ah, the pride of Kells. <laughs> <laughs> So easy without your magic sword. At least I don't hide behind Maeve's magic. We agreed no weapons. We also agreed no rules. Rowan! Go. That's enough talk. Father! You cheat for the advantage. There was a time you were the noblest warrior in all the land. You are right. That time is over! Ah, show me! 
what you've got. <laughs> I am to have you back. I was so worried. The king was under a spell. In the midst of a plant found only in Tamra. Did you enjoy my little present? I should have known better than to trust you. Live and learn, my dear. Get them! Is this May's idea of a one-on-one? -on -one? I leave them the answer. <laughs> I'll let Tyrone do my fighting. Need our armor to kill this. Oh. The fire to stop Tyrone. Fire within me. Earth beneath me. Air above me. Water around me. I summon you. Raquel! 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 Yes, indeed. It's good to be back. To see my father in good health. In good health and back on the throne. Not that you didn't make a fine queen, Deirdre. Easy, my king. You are still recovering. I feel fine. Never better. And you served Kells well in my absence. You're yeah, on a plate to Maeve. <clears throat> I was tricked by Maeve. I failed you as a ruler. Wisdom comes with experience. When your time comes to take the throne, you will be an even greater ruler than I. But until that time, I'm better off serving you as a mystic knight. 